Wyoming. It is known as having wide open spaces, cowboys, even cattle. But did you know this is the first state that gave women the right to vote? Oh, it was big news. Big news it was back in 1870, 50 years before it was enacted into the Constitution. The woman suffragettes pushing for men to grant them equal rights. We owe this act to men because obviously men were the only people who could pass such a uh, law in the territory at the time. According to Kim Viner, a docent for the Laramie Plains Museum, the men passed the act to allow women the right to vote and hold office in hopes it would bring more families to Wyoming and help the territory become a state. Well, the very first woman who benefited, shall we say, from the Suffrage Act was Esther Hobart Morris. The first female justice of peace. Now, Wyoming had many firsts for women. Also on the wall, the first female bailiff and governor. But it was Louisa Swain who changed the course of history. You know, she was just a Quaker woman. She was 70 years old when she cast that first vote. Mary Mountain, a docent at Wyoming's Woman's History House, says Swain was simply going into town to get her yeast when she cast her ballot. She was not the fist-pounding suffragette saying we need these rights. But when the rights were afforded, she stepped up. Not only did the suffragette women fight for the rights of women, but they had a few good men backing them. It's a harsh thing it sounds now to say allowing them, but in those days they were allowing them. These men were saying, let's let women do this. Mountain says women forget their power until they are heard and believes today's political climate resembles so much of what took place nearly 150 years ago. We fall into what is customary, you know, men for our 20th century were guiding the political scene and we are now saying, hmm, I don't think that has to continue. Who knew a quiet state like Wyoming could teach us lessons that transcend time? Even in that small little environment, possibilities, these big possibilities exist. For the now, I'm Annie Taylor.